I'm gonna give a quick overview of how I created this video library in Webflow. So it works like this. You can search for specific topics, you can clear, and then you can also click these creator cards to show the videos based on the specific creator. So I'm not gonna go step by step, but I will give a basic overview of how I created everything. The first thing I did was I added a piece of code, which is the CMS filter library from FinSuite. It's their attribute system. So you'll need to add that to the head of the page. And then I added a form. So the CMS filter system filters based on a form element. So I added a search bar, a text block, which I'm using as a clear filters button and creator cards, which are basically just radio labels. And that is how I set up my filters. The next thing I did was I added my CMS collection list. They're set up through the Webflow CMS. So I have my four creators, and then I have my 12 videos, which basically has a title, a YouTube URL, a thumbnail, and then I reference the creator of the video. If you haven't used Webflow or you haven't used FinSuite CMS filter system, it's actually pretty simple to set up. I recommend that you read their documentation if you want a step-by-step -step guide, but I'll just kind of give a basic overview here. You add the attributes. So for example, for my collection list wrapper, I added my CMS filter element and then the value of list. And it tells it that this is the CMS collection that I want to reference when I'm clicking my form elements to actually filter. And then you can add CMS filter fields to the title. You can also add different collection lists inside of other collection lists. So I added another one, which basically shows the creator of that specific video so that when I click one of these cards, it's going to reference this creator text down here. And then the form also needs attributes set up. So I added one on the form element of filters, the clear filters button, the search bar has one, and then the radio label has several as well. So you can look at this clonable if you want to see how everything was set up, or you can read the documentation. As an example, I added a new video page to my website so that people can search my specific videos without all the distractions of YouTube. And then it's set up pretty similar with tags and a search bar and a clear filters button. So this was just a quick overview. If you have any questions or you wanna learn something more specific, please let me know in the comments. Hope this was helpful, we'll see ya.